Hello, everyone. I'm Damon. This is my mom, Cynthia. Say hi, mom. Hi, everybody. We're back. We're back, and we're here talking about living in the OC. We're going to talk about another one of our favorite little neighborhoods here locally in Orange County, in the city of Orange, really. Right. It's actually only about, we did um, last time we talked about Floral Park, and it's only about maybe 10 minutes from Floral Park by car. It's kind of a walking most. area at the most, yeah. It started in 1871 when uh, part of Orange County was still legally a part of Los Angeles. Mm. And so uh, in 1871, they tried to get their own separate city and uh, decided that they, mostly it was because of the orange groves when I moved here to Orange County, it was still bean fields and orange groves. And so in the city of Orange, Southern Pacific Railroad, it was their main place that they got citrus fruit, oranges and uh, grapefruit to take all over the United States, really. And they it was like a farming community and everybody would come to this plaza right where the two main streets of Chapman and Glacelle met. And then they decided that they wanted to make that uh, an official plaza or park. So they call it the Park Plaza in Orange. Everybody who lives here, we kind of call it the Circle in Orange, uh, simply because around the big fountain that has been built there uh, is a circular road and it's like spokes of a wheel. Four roads come into there. Apparently when there From were- From all directions, oh, north, yeah. south, east, west, the right. four, right, come in. Mm -hmm. And apparently they had farmers who would come in and, uh, chickens and they had troughs to place your horses near uh there near the plaza uh, but so many chickens were running around it became a problem with the buggies and so they put up some fencing and so it's sort of developed according to need and it's now become historic it's a center where they have uh beautiful buildings in the historical registry they have wonderful urban and terrific eating all sorts of Italian, Mexican, Mediterranean. Everything you can think of. Wonderful restaurants. It's actually very hard to get a, a, a reservation there. They have a breakfast spot. We'll show you. We're going to take you with a camera and take you and show you some of these places that is a breakfast spot that you wait hours to get into on the weekends. Um, and so it's a just a nice community. They have uh, Mediterranean revival, they have craftsmen, um, they have all sorts of um, Victorian it's... buildings and they've maintained that architecture, even the restaurants and the buildings. It's also known, I think, mainly, don't you think, for antiques. Definitely. If yeah. you're in Orange County and you ha want an antique or needed an antique repaired, there's a wonderful store. Maybe we'll take you in there tomorrow. The same family's owned it for over 100 years called Muffs. Uh, my house was built in 1929. And when I have a light fixture or a plate cover or something that needs to be replaced, you really have to go somewhere that has things out of the original homes. So we do want to take you there and show you some pictures. Uh, the center of this plaza square, which is actually a circle, <laughs> is a fountain. And we you have want, a picture of that. You pulling up some of the map stuff? Sure, we'll show the map yeah, first, maybe. Uh, well, the other thing is it's, I don't know if we talked about it, it's so close to Chapman University that the students can literally just walk there on foot. You don't have to get in a car. You could ride a bike if you wanted to. It's no more than what, three blocks away from yes. the university. And so a lot of the college kids are there for dinners and weekends and coffee shops. There you go. Maybe and let me blow us up here. So and kind of do show them where that there plaza is. So yeah, without getting too fancy with it, it's just here, here in the middle of the circle here. And you can see from each direction, north, south, east, west, a road comes in there to the circle. You go around that fountain and it's a little park. At one time, it was a rose garden and only in maybe the last 10 years, they've taken out all the roses, which is 
a bit sad because that was a beautiful place to sit on benches uh, when you were uh, shopping. All the antique stores, each of those four spokes, each direction going around the plaza. Great little restaurants that they're showing here on the map. The, the filling station is very popular with the university crowd. And there's Chapman University, just what is it, two, three blocks up right. to the north. Uh, what's what, what's your your the one you love citrus 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 uh... grill cafe is on Glacel, mm -hmm. and they have every year on Labor Day weekend they have an international fair and they close off a block oh, back fair, right. on yeah. each each direction on each street and they have from every country they have people making food with kiosks and bands and oompa music playing and dancing people drink a lot of beer at the i think, festival. think so on speaking that weekend. of which there are a bunch of breweries around for the local and the college crowd mm -hmm. I, I haven't been to that 1886 brewing that shows up but that's popular haven down on the corner down here is a very popular uh microbrewery but then as far as like mexican food we'll we'll show them we'll just walk um, it and show them, we'll some walk of them the... but uh, el ranchito avila's is amazing and our sister my sister steph her favorite place we'll show you to uh gabby's is so cool that it's one of these restaurants that doesn't even have its name on the uh, banner outside yeah you it's just, just have like, to be in the inn <laughs> yeah for the local people they just know where it is so we'll we'll do a clip of gabby's as well now and when they have that international street fair they also have a classic car antique show mm -hmm. and so that brings tons of the of the men and children love all the fun activities and food as far as italian goes what's that francoli is Francoli's the other one here and fabulous we'd have to zoom in but we'll, maybe we'll go get a clip of that as well um let's show them the fountain yes picture there it so is. So this is the- That's me, right in the center us. of the plaza. Rather, yeah, so that's the center of the plaza. Even when COVID hit, none of the restaurants shut down. What they ended up doing is they took the same parameters where they shut off the streets for two blocks in each direction from the fountain mm -hmm. and left those up permanently so you could no longer drive in that area and they had outdoor eating so out in the streets all the streets were the where the restaurants were able I think to still stay open it back up now. it's open now. now that covid's over i think they've they've taken some of those down haven't they right but yeah there was a uh, crazy incident that happened not too long like ago a month ago a couple months ago and we actually have a video clip that we're going to show you it made the news you might have even seen it some some guy was like evading the local police he i think he stolen, stole yeah, he stolen stole a car, car right so we actually, were chasing him down we, Glacel we, we, we queued it up and we'll just play it for you quickly here it's kind of crazy you can see this guy on the left through. hand he side he literally comes through at like 60 miles an hour being so pursued by the police getting down Chapman speeds right into Plaza Park hits right the fountain flips fountain, the car over the here comes the there police you know fountain. chasing him how fast it's going you see it flip you see it come to a rest according to police yeah so, so that wiped out the fountain a and bunch, yeah uh, there's a family here that does pottery work and makes tiles and they had hand they handmade every single one of the tiles all the way around the perimeter of the fountain well the grandson of the man who did the existing mm -hmm. uh, fountain still has the family business and went over and he's going to remake all those tiles and they're going to um, going to rebuild the fountain. So that's the the center right there of the plaza. Um, we just pulled up pictures on Google. Anyone can do this, but let's just kind of go through some of the photos that we liked. Okay. So here's what we're talking about. There's here's our, actually Francoli. That's that our we were favorite mentioning. Italian restaurant. And this was during COVID when they had all the mm -hmm. the outside eating because you weren't allowed to be eating inside. Inside, yeah very uh fun friendly bustling place not what you think of when you think of moving to california mm, no, really excellent italian food there yes if you want to enjoy a nice glass of wine or something too they have a great bar set up so that's that one here's just a. Uh, this you is, stroll yeah. down alleys they have places where you can buy unusual plants and you have to understand this was a farming community so they still have access to 
buying tomato plants and all kinds of herbs and the stores are just so interesting. Uh, maybe show them the next picture. I think yeah, the, that one the is... The light here is, the, this is Earth Cafe, which is really popular. Mm -hmm. um, they have them up in LA and whatnot. It says uh, uh, traditional tea and organic herbal blends. So that's for that crowd. Uh, the next one... But this is how they maintained from the late 1800s all the original marble and this was an apothecary at one time and now it's a normal store where you can buy other things mm -hmm. and it's just a, an enchanting thing to go into each of these little stores it's a great way to spend an afternoon go and have brunch at one of these wonderful restaurants and then stroll through town and pop into the antique stores on they the yeah, on the weekend it's packed. packed that's the thing they do have a store which even sells antique clothing mm. mostly from like the 1950s mm -hmm. i would say mm -hmm. uh but great fun old uh you know pillbox hats that jackie kennedy made popular and you'll find all kinds of fun things and then they have this beautiful store uh, show them the next picture where all the original beautiful wood carving that I think was an antique store I'm not sure that that's what it still is we'll check when we go and and film that they even used to have that old skate shop it was a, oh they did it wasn't, it wasn't it was skateboards sunny, it wasn't Sonny Smith was it it was no. something else right my brother used to love going to the, go there, there and take his shop skateboard to be fixed yeah. right um, this is just kind of a cool look at this image Someone's it's on the back side of the, of the circle, mm -hmm. right? That's pretty cool. The sun and, and then there was a famous uh, restaurant there. Uh, I took a bunch of my high school girlfriends. We get together once a year and I took them there. It's called Watson's. It's been sold out in the last couple of years, but it had been there for over a hundred years. This you go was, inside. Yeah, one of the original shots, right? But, right. And then they, they did like a renovation on it. And it had the old red Naga hide uh, mm -hmm. covering on the, and you could get milkshakes and cheeseburgers and French fries, and they had a jukebox. And so we each, each of us, there were, I think, 10 of us, we went in and we each put in a quarter or whatever mm -hmm. it was in the old yeah. jukebox. And we were doing Say your favorites. Yeah. And we were dancing in the aisles there, and everybody had so much fun. And this is just on one of the little, uh, arms that comes off of that road that's the circle that goes around the plaza fountain there and since it's gone out through the pandemic i think it's a mexican restaurant it's now uh, a mexican restaurant we haven't of, actually been in there yet a so. bunch of mexican restaurants now i mean everyone here loves mexican food so there's an avia restaurant which is fabulous and it, no it is in that. it is in at the end of the block and it used to be a church and that has now become, they've renovated it into a Mexican restaurant. So they didn't change the church or build, break it down. So. All right, let's see what else we have. Well, another cool shot here of Plaza. We have a gardener, a gardener next outside. that just decided to start <laughs> Turn everything his business while we're talking. Very rude. But anyway. it's very fun because you can come in here and sit on park benches and bring a milkshake over there or come with your children and bring your strollers and the dogs and everybody kind of walks all through there on the weekends very fun okay so without us getting blasted out from the sound here for much longer yeah so i think our next clips we're just going to go shoot some footage in person not sure if we're going to go today it's super crowded over the weekend so maybe we'll wait a day or two but, okay. yeah sure Anyway, this is Living in the OC. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button to get notifications, to stay uh, in touch with us with all of our content that we're putting out. And we will go have some fun shooting some footage. Thanks. Okay, everyone, um, we're going to be taking some shots of Old Town Orange like we promised. Here we are. Say hi, Mom. Hi, everybody. We're at the uh, Plaza District here, and we call it also the Circle in Orange. So we're going to turn the camera around and show you the historic sign here. 
and then we'll show you the fruit exchange across the street because this is Orange County and uh, it's where everybody came. They still have a market here uh, once a week where you can come and get fresh fruits and vegetables. Very cool. So here is the sign that we were just mentioning leading into uh, Old Town Orange. Okay, this is the old sun-kissed orange building where everybody came and they exchanged and purchased all the citrus fruits here from, from Orange County. And the building's all being renovated again now, but this was one of the first buildings in from the 18, I think it was 1886, something like that. Nice. Very famous here also for the plaza is the fact that all the antique stores, it's an antique center up here, is a whole entire mall with probably 50 dealers in antiques. And if you swing across the street, Damon, you can show them there's another store right across the street that also has antiques. Okay, so we've talked about some of the hidden gems here in Old Town Orange. This is one of them. This is Gabby's behind us. Famous, famous Mexican restaurant. They don't they even don't, have a sign on no, the door. It's, all the cool people the come in here. Crowd and if you really don't think you like Mexican food, try Gabby's. It'll change your mind. That's for sure. Yeah, it's, it's really fabulous. Good. And right off to my right, we're going to show you Muffs, which is the classic store. That's any antique or thing that you need to repair your your lighting or your electrical or whatever is in this store called Muffs. It's been here forever. It's fine old furniture and all right. I'll hardware. swing around here in a minute. Okay. So yeah, this is Gabby's. We were telling you about some of the best uh, margaritas in town. Very fun place uh, for happy hour. Great food. My sister happens to love this place too. So this is the inside of this muff store that mom's talking about. All the hard, the lighting fixtures are antiques. And look, if you have, you need a doorknob or you need anything to replace something in your house, it's a huge store. Uh, I don't know if you can see, swing down there, if that shows you that. Just an amazing, amazing place. Here's their this sign over Frank here. This is Frank Holy's, um, one of the uh, Italian restaurants that we were telling you about. Very, very popular spot. Great, great to come for wine and whatnot. Some of the best uh, Italian food you're going to find around here. So this is uh, the, the front of Frank Holy's here from the plaza side. We're gonna have a lot of cars going by, just a quick shot. Okay, so here we are, we're in the center uh, of the circle here, the old plaza. I'm just gonna kind of scroll around so you guys can see everything. We are literally standing in the middle of the circle. We showed a video to you guys where the guy came through at like 60, 70 miles an hour. And we're gonna show you right now, this is the plaza that he crashed into right here. They've, uh, they've been trying to reconstruct it. You can see the damage that was done right here. He destroyed the uh, fountain itself and knocked off all the tiles. So they're custom making all the, all the tiles for it. And so you can see that it's a, a total circle around the plaza. And it's like four spokes of a wheel with all kinds of restaurants and antique stores and, uh, just a fun place to be on the weekend. Everybody loves to stroll around here. This is like the uh, north. That would be the north end of the circle. We'll kind of walk that way too. Well, that's the direction that Chapman University is. We'll go down right. there and film that too. Okay. We're now coming out on the west side. west side of the plaza across the street. Very popular clothing store. All my, vintage, mostly like my, 1950s, I think. My oh. niece used to work there for years. Um, very, very fun place for the ladies to come shopping. So we're coming westbound out of the uh, circle now. We just kind of pan around. I want to uh, show you one the couple Earth, more. The Earth Cafe, which we brought up earlier, kind of a popular spot. So this is Boss Cat, another new popular restaurant. It's important. Come on in here because show them the gas, the uh, oh, yeah. gas pump. So we're still rolling. This used to be a little over here was a a uh, liquor store, and this on the corner here was uh -huh. where the uh, the gas station was. Look at the old gas pumps, and so they left the gas pumps there, which is very cool. And 
feel this is in as an outside dining area. Very, very popular spot. As we head westbound, now I'm going to try to cross the street without getting run over, is Finney's. It's a new craft spot. A lot of people love to come in here for appetizers. They got a bunch of screens set up. Sports bar, big patio out in back, barbecuing. And it used to be a, an antique store, and now it is this really popular. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Popular restaurant. Very cool spot. Yeah. We got uh, Paul's. Paul's is famous for cocktails. It's a really these two spots right here for the young crowd. You got the district lounge and uh, Paul's for, for drinks. Very popular late night. So this is a fun little breakfast spot called Snooze. Can't even get in here on the weekends. They're around the block. They have the most fabulous breakfasts the most unusual pancakes and French toast and waffles with all kinds of combinations. And uh, they're only open for mostly till midday. They're not a dinner place, but- So they're closed fun, fun already. Yeah. yeah. Why don't we walk down here? So this is just a front shot of the uh, snooze here in the corner as we're heading, again, heading westbound on Chapman, coming out of the circle. We got a little outdoor area where you can come for breakfast, sit out on the patio. This is another business that's been around here for years, uh, Orange Cycle. We've uh, bought many bikes here. I bought your bike when you were about seven years old and now I've just bought a bike for my grandchildren here. <laughs> so, yeah, they, they love it. Great spot. It Take is a great spot. You got all kinds of bikes, different uh, price ranges and whatnot. Whatever kind of bike you're looking for, they can pretty much take care of you. Mountain bikes, electric bikes. We even brought in an old unicycle that they fixed up for us. So yeah, it's that my brother cool. used to ride for years as a right. kid. Right. Yeah. So this is on the um, south end of the circle uh, on the, on Glacelle. Cross street is Almond. We're yeah. going to show you one more restaurant here, which is. Uh, a, they converted an old church into a, a Mexican restaurant. And then we're going to be heading back into the circle here. So this is Avila's El Ranchito. It's one of many in Orange County, but this particular location was converted from a church. I'm going to go ahead and kind of scroll out here as far as I can so you guys can see this. I don't know how long, how many years it was a church, Mom, but it was a church for a for long time, a while. But yeah, they've converted it. Another really popular Mexican option if you're in, in the mood for good Mexican food. Uh, this and Gabby's are kind of the two hot spots, I would say, for Mexican food. Absolutely. Yeah. Here. Yep. And they've maintained the whole interior as a church mm -hmm. and on different levels put all the tables. So it's a, it's a wonderful spot. You don't have to pray for forgiveness when you're inside, but yeah. it helps sometimes. <laughs> it helps. No, the drinks are really good though. If you're in a margarita mood, you can't uh, you can't beat their margaritas. They usually run happy hour and whatnot. I'm just trying to get all the different. Angles I think we should here. drive by Citrus Grill Cafe and yeah, show okay. that, and then on our way down to show them the university, which is only okay. about a block away. All right, cool. Okay, so we're gonna we're cruising down the. Uh, center of the of the uh, circle here just kind of zoomed out so they can get a good shot this is everything that we were this is the the south leg coming into the plaza so now we're going to go start around the circle going around the uh, plaza district there you always have to be careful coming around. There's a lot of pedestrians coming through here all the time and through this circle. A couple of banks here for people that need to do banking, Wells and Chase, old buildings. One of uh, mom's favorite restaurants is up here, the Citrus City Grill. Where the orange umbrellas are yeah, over here. Yeah, passing that right now. Wonderful place to eat outside Mediterranean cuisine. Um, and now we're going to actually go down the north block uh -huh. 
leading into the plaza circle there. And the reason we're doing this is we want to show you how close we are to Chapman University. It used to be the Orange High School. Filling station here on the right, very popular for breakfast. Very popular spot on the right here. And students just kind of hang out there. And if you look at the houses, a lot of them are the craftsman style here in uh, Old Town Orange. Mm -hmm. uh, Rutabagas, which is a great place. All the students hang out here. Wonderful flowers. Yeah. You can see all the houses here. And there's a Bruxy up here also. Same thing, very popular. But then this is Chapman coming up here. So that's how close literally are. like two blocks not even not even three blocks down is uh chapman university these are the main buildings here on the right used to be just this little l or u shape that was the high school and now it's goes for blocks and blocks there's a we'll show you as we go by on the left hand side is a law school which is now an accredited law school as well well and their cinema program too is one of the best in the country I'd say in the top eight, probably. So the main campus is here on the right. Here's Chapman University. Beautiful buildings. Mm. Yep. Over here on the left-hand side, this is a newly constructed... This is the law school. And over here is the cinema school, Cecil B. DeMille building. Yeah. And this is now. That's kind of cool, these little gates here. The main entrance and the library and the cafeteria and everything. So you can't drive just, in there. I know, I'm just pulling over here so you can get a shot. Mm, very cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Private university, not cheap to go to school here. I think it's as much as uh, some of the other big private schools. You might just shoot these little bungalows over here yeah, too. The university has purchased a lot of these houses for departments to be having their department head live in here. So just a very, very sweet area. This is now coming out north um, from the circle. And they have a whole new uh, center back yeah, there. Yeah, they've got for, a new stadium and everything too. This is for all the athletic department, gymnasiums. Let me see if I can go around the block here so you can shoot a little bit more of that. I'm just gonna keep rolling. They can edit all of this. They got a subway here open 24 hours for all the college kids when they get hungry. Front shot of rutabagas, very popular, cool flowers. You can see those All flowers old there. English delphiniums and beautiful cool. flowers. Now we're coming back into the circle from the north, heading south into Old Town Orange. So again, uh, mom's favorite restaurant, Citrus Grills here on the right, coming up. And there's also a popular brewery, 1886 is here now as well. Now we're coming into, into the circle now. You have, have eyes in the back of your head here. There's so many pedestrians, <laughs> pedestrians, people. Yeah. Earth cafe in the corner, very, very crowded all the time. 
And again, Frank Felix's Coley's Continental Cafe. I haven't been in there, but Frank Coley's is the best Italian around. Now we're going to go down this. We're side. heading south now. We're on uh, Glacelle. And we're coming back toward the bike shop that we were recording a few minutes back. Mm -hmm. 